Mizuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mizuma Nation. Shout out to the Mizuma Ma. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. On my way to get to it as always. I hope y'all doing the same. Um, yeah, man. Let's get into Keith Thurman. If y'all didn't hear what I was talking about with Keith Thurman last night, man, go check out my live, man. It was a two-hour live with the people just chopping it up. It was definitely lit. Definitely had his twists and turns, but we got through it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, nonetheless, man, Keith Thurman, article on Boxing Scene, man. Shout out to that article on Boxing Scene. And they was talking about uh, Keith Thurman. And Keith Thurman put out some some little bold statements about Terrence Crawford and all that. And we spoke on that on the live as well. You know what I mean? If you guys haven't been keeping up, Keith Thurman had uh, Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia was, press, was expressing their interest in a Terrence Crawford fight. Terrence Crawford pretty much told y'all, man, y'all ain't want to fight me. So y'all not getting an opportunity with me now that I'm the top dog. And he's justified in doing so because Earl Spence did the same thing to Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Earl Spence was like, yo, when I was when I was calling for a title shot, when I was a young, up, upcoming dude, you ain't even want to look my way. So now that the table's turned and now you're looking for a fight, I'm not going to give you one. You know what I'm saying? And in all honesty, bro, that's just how that's just how the game works. You know what I mean? Tables turn. This shit happens habitually in boxing. Um, I seen somebody comment and say, um, they was trying to play chess and got checkmated. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what happened with Keith Thurman. It's unfortunate. And he's done a lot of stuff to shoot himself in the foot. You know what I mean? Blatantly sitting on the shelf, not taking uh, fights that could put him in position for world title shots. You know what I mean? He was supposed to fight um, your Dennis Ugas. You know what I mean? But somehow, some way, he fumbled, he fumbled the bag with that fight. That would have been a great fight, especially on the Charlo Canelo undercard. But um, you know what I mean? He left that fight. He left that fight to the base side, so Mario Barrios took advantage. You know what I mean? If Mario Barrios takes advantage, he'll be uh, he'll be closest in line for the WBC title shot. You know what I mean? And Keith Thurman don't got nobody to blame but himself, man. That dude has a high level of arrogance, a whole lot of entitlement. When boxing is really what have you done for me lately kind of sport. And he hasn't done anything lately besides beat Mario Barrios. You know what I'm saying? Who had who would even have a fight at 147 pounds um, until he fought Thurman? So in the article, Keith Thurman is talking about how Terrence Crawford didn't beat the real champion at Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? That on that night, Sean Porter would have beat uh, uh, Earl Spence. He's only saying that because he got a victory over Sean Porter. So he's trying to feel like he's the superior you know what i'm saying he's trying to make it seem like he has some type of superiority in this situation that's the only reason why he threw sean porter in that mix then went on to say he said a lot of things you know what i'm saying but what keith thurman said most notably was that um oh you know earl spence don't really want to fight me either man that's not a fight he's really looking at terrence crawford doesn't want to fight me i still love putting on the biggest fights keith thurman when is the last time you have put on the biggest fight bro when was the last time you had put on the biggest fight? Danny Garcia, bro? That was years ago. That was years ago, bro. What makes you think that we're going to believe you when you when you say you want to make the biggest fights happen? You know what I'm saying? When Earl Spence was coming up and was calling you out before he got the IBF strap, you ain't even want to look his way. That would have been a big fight. You know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford wanted to fight you. From what I understand, you priced yourself out. Couldn't make the fight happen. Could not even make a fight with you, Dennis Ugas, who's coming off of a loss and a bad eye injury that you easily could have took advantage of. You know what I'm saying? So I say all this to say that, man, Keith Thurman is an absolute joke, bro. Um, I see exactly why he has no respect amongst the fans, man, because he moves real corny, bro. The dude is an absolute cornball. I don't really like speaking on fighters like this, man. You know, I try to give these guys their respect. And don't get it wrong, Keith Thurman is a hell of a fighter, but um, the personality that's attached to his fighter, it, he ruined his... Uh, he ruined his, his uh, uh, how can I say this? He ruined his stock in the game. You know what I'm saying? This dude gets in arguments on airplanes with fight fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, people blatantly go up to him and start talking shit. He talking shit to people in the crowd. Somebody ran up on him while the media was recording him. It was like, yo, when you going to fight Spence? Oh, oh. Like, all up in Thurman face. Like, bro, the fact that these dudes not are, aren't even discouraged to come up to you and talk shit just lets you know how the world views you. And that's a cornball. You know what I'm saying? Like, I highly doubt anybody's going to walk up to somebody like, even Canelo and talk shit to him because they understand that they, there's a there's a chance that shit might go left. You know what I'm saying? People don't run up on Earl Spence because they know there's a chance shit might go left. Terrence Crawford, 
definitely something will go left just based off of his personality. You, you're, they feel like you're easily approachable and they really feel like there's going to be no consequence to their action if they come up to you. So that lets you know nobody really respects you, you know what I'm saying? And you don't have nobody to blame but yourself because when you was fighting Sean Porter, when you was fighting Danny Garcia, the world loved you, man. Your, your, your fan base was crazy. You was doing some great shit. You got some great wins, became unified champion. You know what I mean? I understand you went through your elbow injuries. You ran into your to your little uh to your trials and tribulations, but you could have easily bounced back. But ever since you've had this injury, you've been extremely uh diva-ish. Diva-ish. You know what I'm saying? How could you say that Terrence Crawford didn't beat the real champion when you lost to a 40-year-old Pacquiao and ducked this guy that you were saying wasn't the real champion. So it, um, you trying to discredit a victory over somebody that you blatantly ducked. You know what I'm saying? How could you discredit his win against Earl Spence when you blatantly ducked Earl Spence for years? Earl Spence used to run up on you at, during interviews and be like, man, you're going to retire before you fight me. What's up? Like, you used to run up on you and then you you start, <laughs> oh, you, yeah, Earl so funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, just a uh, fucking goofy, bro. Absolute goofy, man. I hope Keith Thurman don't get no type of title shot against Earl, against Spence. I mean, uh, they're the same person, obviously. <laughs> I hope he gets no shot against Spence. I hope he gets no shot against Crawford, man. Salute to Crawford, man. Keep getting them big bags, them big legacy fights. You know what I'm saying? And if Keith Thurman really want, he want to prove himself, he really want to get the fan base back on his side, man, it's going to take a lot of rebranding to do. But um, because his, his reputation is pretty much down the drain. But fight Jerron Ennis, man. Fight Jerron Ennis. You would have been on the right track if you would have took this Ugas fight. But you probably thought that you, you should have got a bigger bag. And they wasn't trying to pay you like that. Because in all honesty, you're not really. I mean, you're a unified world champion. But your fan base down the fucking drain. So I don't know why you expecting to get these big checks that you was getting back when you was fighting uh, Porter and fucking Garcia. And them. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Fight Jerron Ennis. If you beat Jerron Ennis, you know what I'm saying? You might you might have shit start playing out in your favor. But until then, Keith Thurman is a cornball. And this is a, this is a Mizuma TV approved message. And I don't give a fuck what nobody else got to say about that, man, except my people. So leave a comment. Uh, like the video. Share the video. As always, man, this is Mizuma TV. Shout out to Mizuma Nation and the Mizuma Mob. And we out of here, man. Peace.